Berserker. Alright. Um, I realize that I haven't reviewed Grolsch yet, and uh, I've had a couple of people uh, talk to them about maybe the pronunciation of the Grolsch. Um, I know a guy from Holland, he's got a heavy accent, so he lived there as, as a kid, and obviously speak Dutch. He says, uh, it's pronounced Grolsch. And then I talked to my uh, um, German friend. He speaks a little German or something like that. Uh, and he says it's pronounced Grolch. But this this beer's from Holland, so I'm going to take it from the Dutchman that it's Grolch. Uh, I just call it Grolch because that's what it looks like. Um, so, premium lager since 1615. Um, and. It's your green bottle, your bottle skunked beer, basically. And these usually come in swing tops, um, 500 milliliter swing tops. Just, they still sell those all the time. So if you do brew your own beer, those come in really handy. Uh, uh, this is, I drink this beer quite a bit uh, back in the day. It was one of the, it's one of the more common imports. I guess we'll let's say it like that. Um, and I've noticed a couple of things about this beer that are kind of cool. Um, it is probably the skunkiest uh, green bottle beer you can get that I've had. I mean, it is skunky. It is really skunky, and that's not necessarily a bad thing. You get the, the bottle skunk, uh, that light struck uh, aroma and taste. You can definitely smell it. It's uh, it's quite gold in color. Uh, it's got a white head. Reminds me of a Heineken a bit, but maybe a little more gold, a little more, a little more sticky, a little more in it, you know. Another thing I've noticed is it's quite sweet, but I have never gotten a headache. From the girls, or the girls. Um, usually, a sweet beer. I'll just feel my head constrict if it's like a Coors or you know a Labatt or whatever. It, it's just like a cheap domestic pilsner or any kind of sweet pilsner type beer will um, immediately get, start to give me a headache. Uh, but this stuff does not. And like I say, it's probably the most um, light struck tasting beer, but it's so sweet and sticky um, at the same time. It, 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 that, that's the sweetness kind of battles it out with the light struck. A lot of people refer to Heineken as being a skunky beer. It comes in the green bottle, but you can get Heineken in a can. I've never seen this beer in a can. I've only seen it in green bottles. Doesn't mean that it doesn't come in a can. It just means that I've never seen it. Um, it's five percent alcohol. This is a three hundred thirty mil bottle. Um, oh, here I'll show you something. Just a second here. So this is a bottle of, uh, of Grolsch that I bought. It's 1.5 liters, and I refilled this. This is full of my own brown ale that I brewed, uh, and it has the swing top. And I have lots of these in 500 mil bottles. So I gotta be careful. This is bottle conditioned, and I'm scared it's gonna blow up because I. Uh, if you do bottle your own beer uh, in bottle condition. Beer kit will give you 900 grams of dextrose. I don't brew kits anymore. I do all grain. But if you do use the dextrose to bottle condition, use way less than the 900 gram pack because, especially if you leave the beer for a few months, it really um, 
it's dangerously overcarbonated. So that's just from my own experience, and I prefer low low carb ales. So I don't really need all 900 grams in, in, a, in a five gallon batch. Or is it 90 grams? I think they're just 90 gram packs or something. Where they come in a little pack, and you only need about a quarter of that, like less than half. I mean, it, you know, you might have to wait more than a week for it to carbonate properly. But if you're making ass loads of beer, don't don't overcarbonate. Just talking about it because Grosch is so uh, great bottles to reuse. Especially 1.5 liter, that cuts your work in half. I bought three of them and drank them. They're delicious. So it's uh, not much to say. It says sweet. Um, a lot of the uh, bottle scud, uh, the light strut hops flavor in there. Uh, kind of a nice bitterness in this. It, I, I don't mind that. It makes it it's a nice complexity to it. What the hell, eh? I would compare it to Heineken. Um, not really getting a whole lot of alcohol on it. This would be a great beer with like nachos or chicken wings. Um, yeah. Hmm. Yeah, it's from Holland and all that, so, yeah, I, I find it quite delicious, actually. But if you don't like light-struck beer, don't get it. It's very, very skunk. Yeah, bitter up front, and then you get all that sweetness. really lace much um, there's still a little bit of head on it that's not better than most of your domestic pale lagers um, it's not my very favorite lager um, but I would have to give it a I'll give it an eight and a half out of eleven and uh, but I still consider it a damn good beer There's definitely loggers out there that I, I prefer over it, so. But, uh, yeah, definitely I need to experience the Grosch and uh, 8.5. Um, nothing else to say.